The new music-filled comedy is taking over the stage at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center. So right now, Sarah joins us live in local downtown for a peek behind the curtain. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. Matt even said today, Sarah, you have sparkles on. Are you going to be on the stage? I said, yes, I am yes. I'm ready to go because we are here at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College, joined right now by the director of the legend of Georgia McBride, Marisa Bear. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So for those who might not know, tell us a little bit about the show. Sure. The Legend of Georgia McBride is, in my opinion, really a show about finding family and finding a place to call home. It centers around um, Casey, who is an Elvis impersonator, and the bar that he works in, Cleo's, and it's not doing so well. So the owner decides to pivot to a drag show that is um, put on by his cousin and a friend of hers, and that takes Casey into this whole new world where he finds out a lot about himself. He discovers a passion he didn't know he had and he gets his own sense of family and home. Great, and so there's a lot of characters, a lot of cast and crew that helped make this possible, including yes. this amazing set. I know. <laughs> Our set designer, Frank, is incredible. He's based out of New York and this, this is the second time we've worked together and we have a joke that whenever he makes sets for me, it's we find all the junk we can and we make it beautiful. <laughs> it looks so good. I love it this morning, especially because of the vibrant colors, but this is actually set in present day. It is, yes. Um, the Legend of Georgia McBride was originally workshopped at the Denver Center for Performing Arts in 2014, but it's kind of timeless, so mm -hmm. we decided why not set it in current day. Yes. So, yeah. so tell us a little bit about your cast and crew and how you kind of chose them. Sure. There are five members of the cast. Um, we've got three, two and a half drag queens. We've got the owner of the bar, Eddie, and we've got Casey's wife, Joe. And our cast, we've got some really great local talent. Um, we've got Jeff Rourke, who's from Denver. He's been on the stage multiple times. We have Christian Ray Robinson, who plays Casey, and he actually was a youth rep kid in, at the Fine Arts Center ages ago. And we have Nathan Halverson, who is the Associate Artistic Director at the Fine Arts Center. And then we've got two people we brought in from New York, Micah Mims, who plays Rexy slash Jason, and we have Zena Ellis, who plays Casey's wife, Joe. Well, Marisa, we are wrapping up here. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, bright and early on yes. the stage. We got the lights on. <laughs> We're awake. It's great. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Happy to do it. All right, guys. Well, we are going to meet more of the cast and crew. I'm going to get in some, I think, drag makeup this morning. I'm excited. <laughs> but for now, we're going to toss it back to you in studio. <laughs> oh, Can't wait for right. that. Yeah, she has her bling on, though. Her sparkles. She does. She's ready yeah. to roll. Well, the Fine Arts Center is bringing a new music-filled comedy to the stage as the legend of Georgia McBride is now showing. So right now, Sarah joins us. She is live in local downtown to meet the cast and crew behind the city's newest production. She's shaking those, shaking those hips. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sarah, All the hips. good morning. Can you do the lip curl? I'm gonna play all the Elvis this morning. I am so excited. What was that, Abby? Sorry can you can that. you do your the, the Elvis lip curl? I like have an itch. I'm gonna I sneeze. Got the Elvis lip curl right <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sneeze. Craig is creeping me out. <laughs> How do you guys think my Elvis impression is so so far? Pretty sick. <laughs> I think it's very bold. It's very bold. That's, that's one word to describe it. Of course, joined right now by Micah Mims and also Nathan Halverson, the Associate Artistic Director at the FAC. And also, you guys both play actors in the show. So we want to talk a little bit about drag culture and how the show actually plays part in that. Sure. I mean, our show is a celebration of queer culture and uh, drag artistry is a huge part of that. Um, it's about self-expression. It's about developing your own persona, finding acceptance of yourself and those around you. And that's what we're trying to celebrate here in The Legend of Georgia McBride. Um, plus, who doesn't like drag queens and drag <laughs> yes. kings and drag artists and drag shows? I love it. And let's talk a little bit about your character that you play at the show. I play Jason and Rexy. It's actually super cool to play dual characters. I identify as a they, them. And so to get to show both sides of my sassy, you know, <laughs> Simone meets Holly Berry from Bap side. Ooh. And then, you know, where I come from, my country, like, you know, Southern roots of North Carolina as Jason. I get, I love it. I love it. 
great. I love the sassy. Yeah. I'm a little sassy too, but we're classy. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're sassy and classy. <laughs> <laughs> so Nathan, tell me a little bit about the character you play. I play Miss Tracy Mills, okay. who is the cousin of the bar owner in the show, um, who's been doing drag for 30 years. <laughs> mm. uh, I just revealed how old I am, um, uh, and uh, and uh, is kind of like the maternal character in the play who comes in and uh, is so inside of herself and so confident that it kind of um, spreads amongst the um, more heteronormative characters in boom. our play. <laughs> our what? I said boom. Yeah. You said what? Point. Boom. <laughs> Good point. All right. Well, thank you both so, so much. We appreciate it. We're wrapping up here. We're going to get in some drag. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for that. And one more time, we do a boom. 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 <laughs> Craig and Abby, we're going to toss it. We're going to toss it back to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think just putting on those clothes just brings something out of you. That's all. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh -huh, it's the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Shake that's it. That's right, Abby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. All right, thanks, y'all. Hey, time now. It is uh, 631. New music-filled comedy. You is, hit on 16, I hit on you. Is taking over the stage at the Colorado Springs <laughs> Fine Arts Center. Hey, right now, Sarah joins us live at local downtown for a peek behind the curtain. Sarah, good morning. What do you got? <laughs> Good morning, Craig and Abby. I am transforming from Elvis to drag now. So we're talking all about the professional artist work that goes into putting all this makeup on for the actors. Joined right now by, of course, the fancification artist, Sammy Gleason. Thank Hi. you so much. Thank you very much. You are wonderful. And all of you, of course, we have Micah and Nathan over here getting into drag this morning, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so Sammy, you really help all of this come together. Yeah, I had the opportunity to uh, be the costume designer for the show, as well as the wig designer and stylist. And then what we like to call the special makeup fabricator. Um, this show requires the actors to go in and out of drag real quick. A lot of times. Back and forth, back and forth. Three different actors have to be drag queens and boys and drag queens and boys. And I wanted them to be fabulous drag queens. And part of what sells that is a lip and a really fabulous eye. But in drag, a really fabulous eye takes anywhere from two and a half to three hours, which we do not have between costume changes here, or else that would have been real easy. Anyway, so um, I had seen last summer a clip of somebody talking about working on the musical version of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, which is another queer drag film in which the characters go in and out of boys boy and drag all through the story. So when they took it to the stage, they pioneered this technology where they actually molded actors' faces and then made plastic masks that fit each individual person specifically and put the drag on those. So between takes, getting out of drag is literally wiping a lip off and pulling a mask off and getting into drag is literally putting a lip on, maybe a drape of blush and sticking a mask on. It's real quick, real easy, and then you can get into a wig and costume and don't have to worry. <laughs> so what we did on this, was mold every one of our actors' faces. That is so cool. You never, I never thought that this actually went into that because look mm. at how close this is. Yeah, and so these are then not only specifically Pantone matched to each of their skin tones, there you go, girl, <laughs> but then they are dragged up. That looks so with amazing. a lip and this and a little distance for the audience, you know, then we get these fabulous <laughs> drag queens in two seconds, which is really fabulous. And Nathan's ready over here too. Mm -hmm. wow. There she is. Ooh. Sassy. I just so that was that was the process of making sure that we could quickly get these girls beautiful and get yes. them back into boy when they needed to on the drop of a hat or they, they the pull of a mask, whichever you prefer. <laughs> so I have to ask you, what do you think is your favorite, I guess, thing about getting into drag? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I do enjoy the transformation. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you're when you're acting, you need those things to take you to the space. Mm -hmm. And it takes me an hour from start to finish to get ready for this play. Wow. And so by the time I'm done, I'm fully immersed. She in is who a woman. Miss Tracy mm -hmm. Mills is, and I'm ready to do the thing. It's it's really really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Ready to do the thing. That's right. And I have to ask Micah over here the same question. What is your favorite thing? Because you look amazing. Thank you. Well, it's because I look amazing. Okay, that's my favorite thing about getting in drag. How can you not look beautiful with all of the jewels and all the makeup? I think drag is eccentric and expression and 
freedom, and that is what I love the most about it. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you, Sammy. We mm -hmm. appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Oh, a little sap there. I love it. <laughs> we are fans of you all Ooh. this morning. Well, Abby, guess what? We need one of these masks so we don't have to put makeup on in the morning. What do you think? That <laughs> would be great. That's the way to do it, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, just mm, mm, slap it on. Good Come stuff. <laughs> all right. Sarah, you're a very special guest. Thank you so much right now. It is a 649. The Fine Arts Center is bringing a new music-filled comedy to the stage as the legend of Georgia McBride is now showing. Yeah, today it's all about the arts for sure. Right now, Sarah joins us live and local downtown to meet the cast and crew behind the city's newest production. <laughs> Sarah, good morning. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Good morning, Craig and Abby. I am officially in drag, ready to go this morning. <laughs> I got all made up this morning from the amazing Sammy Gleason over here. Thank Hello. you so, so much. Yeah. And we have Micah and Nathan with us once again. So, I have to ask you, what are your characters' names one more time, but what is your drag name? My character's name is Miss Tracy Mills. Okay. Um, when I did drag in my personal life, uh, my name was Gloria Midnight. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sad I missed Gloria Midnight. Well, I've got some VHS tapes if you want to come over to the house and see it. I would love to. <laughs> and Micah over here, I know that you also won Miss North Carolina and you did drag as well. Yes, yes, yes. My drag name was Vontrees Duquette. It was like the last name of my best friend and the first name of my favorite American Idol contestant. <laughs> I love it. You both look fabulous this morning. Oh, I love it. You. And we're going to come over here, talk to Sammy of course oh. so tell me a little bit about what we did for this drag oh for you well you already <laughs> had a good nice beat on so what we just took is a little extra pop of blush and really draped it draping they call contouring with uh with blush specifically but down around mm -hmm. the temple and into the cheek and then i just took a little of your foundation on a blending sponge and cut the cheek so we get a nice sharp contour threw some glitter on the lips and a little sequin <laughs> glued to the eyes and uh, and there you are i do have to say this this was really funny because i brought just a just a little bit of makeup this morning because we got to be safe COVID safe not using any of the mm -hmm. actors makeup what did you have to say about my little bag i, <laughs> I said i said how do you do anything with this much makeup <laughs> there's glue. nothing <laughs> My makeup There's brush. not an eyeshadow to be seen, but that's fine. I just licked my finger and stuck it on her. Very COVID safe. Um, <laughs> so I'm joking. Funny. I'm joking. I didn't do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we're in the wig room. Yes. So tell us, we're going to give them some wigs. Yes, we're going to stick some wigs on these ladies. Uh, these are their finale wigs. So um, as a quick little story I was telling her, um, when I designed the costumes, I wanted to, uh, we wanted to end the show. It's a big old gay show. And so we wanted a big old gay ending with a rainbow with everyone on the stage. And to help it make sense for myself, I designed everybody with a pop of color that is specific to that character. There's Great. six characters. Um, Micah here plays two, so he gets two colors. Um, but everybody has a color that sort of pops up all the way through the show. When they're in real life situations, it's a t-shirt or it's a pair of shoes or a bag or something like that. And then when they get into showtime and full drag, it's all of the mamies. And so um, when we get to the end, we put them in actual hair colors that match their colors. So Micah, Great. As Miss Rexy actually is orange. Pull her down just a little bit, baby. There you go. Oh, I love it. Well, we are wrapping up here, Sammy, so mm -hmm. we can do a little bit of a reveal at 7.42. Oh, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love we'll it. get this all the way on there. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. Thank you all so much. We're excited <laughs> for the big reveal. For now, though, Craig, we're going to toss it back to you. You know, we almost wore the same thing today. That would have been so embarrassing <laughs> for all of us, right? Hey. A new music-filled comedy is taking over the stage at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center. Yes, yeah, so right now, Sarah joins us again. She is live and local downtown for a peek behind the curtain. Sarah, good morning. I feel great. <laughs> Stay, oh, yes. Good morning, Greg and Abby. We are talking all about the legend of Georgia McBride. We are ready to learn some choreography. What was my name one more time, my drag name? Edamame. Edamame. I love it. <laughs> another really good one. It was Shalita Buffet. Yeah. Yes. Those are from the one. plot. Those are from the script. I love it. Yeah. And what are your names? Miss Tracy Mills. Love it. Miss Rexy. Mm hmm So we want to get right into the choreography here. Tell us where this is performed in the show and how we do it. Okay. So this is from the finale. Okay. So this is the last <laughs> thing you see. Now, come on. Don't get too close. Just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so we're gonna go like this. Ready? Okay. Yes. One, two, three, four, right. five, six, cha -cha seven, and repeat. Okay. One, two, 
three, four, five, yeah. six. Then we're gonna take the right foot forward. One, two, yeah. three, Ooh. four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. And then you have to enjoy yourself. Okay. Seven, eight. And then you take <laughs> your finger and go around. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five. And then it's one, two, three, four, <laughs> down the body. <laughs> I love it. Got it? Show us. Yeah, I got it. Uh, uh, I'm shy. <laughs> do you want to do it together? Yes, let's Not do so it together. Not too much pressure? Yeah. Okay, here we mm -hmm. go. Five, six, seven, right. eight, and one. Three, to the four. Left. Oh yeah, we can count if it feels good. <laughs> and then you just gotta like live a little. Just I like love live. live a little. Mm -hmm. Right foot forward. Ba, right. Ha, ha. Eight. Back. Oh, my Front. necklace broke from dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but... That's okay, you just go with it. Ah. Ah. Ba ba ba. Down. Oh, yes, Lay. I love it. All right. Oh, that was so cute. fun. Cute. <laughs> I know. Maybe you need a walk on in the show. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I should. Like at the end of the play when we hire the new girls. <laughs> oh. And I'm still on probation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. So what happened over here with the little Um. Kid? Well, this is just how it goes. Yeah. Um. These are like five or six different necklaces that were put together on a strand. Um, and it broke. I love it. Well, I'd love it. You just went with it, too. Well, what else are you supposed to do? <laughs> On opening night, one of my dresses opened wide up. Oh. Right, and you just have to, you know, wow. roll with the punches. Love it. Well, ah. <laughs> if I could, I need both of you to do your sassiest toss back to Abby. So we'll do one and then we'll have the other. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, to, what? Have, Maybe just a toss back to uh, Abby. Okay. Uh, to you, Abby. Woo! Oh! oh! The wig almost came up, but it stayed it. on, Abby. We are going to toss it back to you, girl. <laughs> That is quite the toss. Thank you, Sarah. The Fine Arts Center is bringing a new music-filled comedy to the stage as the legend of Georgia McBride is now showing. So right now, once again, Sarah joins us live and local downtown to meet the cast and crew behind the city's newest production. Sarah, good morning. Well, good morning, Craig and Abby. I'm bringing a little 80s vibes today. I don't know about you, but I think I could wear this look every day on TV. I mean, come on. If I could have a costume designer every day, makeup artist, that would be fantastic. Joined right now, of course, behind the scenes crew. We have to give them all kudos too. We love our behind the scenes crew. Morgan Gatson, thank you so much. The assistant stage manager, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So amazing production here. The legend of Georgia McBride. Right now through May 15th, you can get your tickets. Plus, the stage is awesome. Yes, it is. We are very lucky to have some <laughs> fantastic crew here. We have three carpenters locally. Uh, we have two light designers locally. And our run crew is all local. About three dressers, four uh, deckhands. It's all here in Colorado Springs from Colorado Springs for Colorado Springs. All hands on deck. That awesome. is correct. And this is really cool to show. This actually goes up. Correct? Yes, yes. <laughs> so this is our fly system. As you can see, uh, all of this is counterweight uh, systems <laughs> that can move really, really heavy scenic pieces oh, and reveal our, friends back yes, here. <laughs> our actors back here. That scenic piece is about 1,500 pounds, and you can see one person can pull that out and operate it. Great. And so tell us real quickly, what is your favorite part about putting this all together? I think my favorite part is all of the artistry coming together. You have upwards of 30 people with artistic backgrounds coming together and bringing their ideas and just like putting that all together and fulfilling that. Great, so we wanna go back here. Thank you all so much, <laughs> of course, for joining us all morning. We wanna show them the fly system because it is really, really cool. And so tell us a little bit about how much weight these can carry each. Yeah, so uh, our fly system is counterweight balance. So on your arbor side, you're gonna put the weight that the scenic piece actually weighs. So when you pull it out, it's even. Um, so you can fly up to 3,000 pounds worth of scenery on each one of these lines. We are very lucky to have that. 
so cool. And we want to talk real quickly about the summer camps. How can people get tickets? Absolutely. Or, I guess sign up. Yes. Got tickets to the show. <laughs> yes. Uh, all of our summer camps start June 5th through August 6th, uh, ages 5 through 18. We have little kids camps and youth rep. Please check out our website for all of the information. It's fantastic. Great. How do you think this look is for me today? It's amazing. Oh. You really came to life today. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> and we really appreciate everyone here helping to put all this together this morning. And thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you. Of course. So, Greg, we're going to toss it back to you. <laughs> Sarah, thanks a lot. Today it's all about the arts and check this out. A new music filled comedy is taking over the stage at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center. Yes, yeah, so right now, once again, Sarah joins us live in local downtown for a peek behind the curtain. You're showing us all the stuff. Sarah, good morning. <laughs> Yeah, and this is all the stuff this morning. All the makeup, the hair, the outfit. We are looking the part this morning for The Legend of Georgia McBride, showing right now through May 15th. The director we're joined with right now, Marisa A. Bear. Thank you so much for joining us all morning long. And real quickly, tell us about the play, what people can expect. Of course. So The Legend of Georgia McBride is about our, our Casey character who was doing Elvis and his boss decides that's not making money so they switch to a drag show with his cousin and her friend and it's really a show about finding your passion, finding your home and discovering who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate that. We're going to upstage now to talk to Sammy Gleason, the costume designer. You do amazing work. You Thank did you. this this morning. <laughs> and so tell us what how you get inspired? Uh, well, it's a lot of meetings with folks beforehand, just talking about what the vision is, where we're wanting to go, the technicalities of getting people in and out of drag quickly in quick changes throughout the course of a 90 some odd minute show. And then it starts with a lot of renderings and sketches and designs like this that allow us an opportunity to sort of visualize what it is that's in my head and get it approved by people and then we put it on bodies. Wonderful. Well, thank you so thank much. You. You're wonderful. We appreciate you. And of course, we have Morgan here once again, the assistant stage manager. You have a great behind the scenes crew that helps put this all together. I sure do. We have three dressers led by Catherine Hall uh, that are doing 40 quick changes throughout this hour and a half of a show. <laughs> uh, we have four deck crew uh, members and then we have three carpenters that really built all of this. So it's amazing. Oh, well, thank you again for joining us. We're going to walk down the stage here. We're going to talk to Rexy and Jason, AKA Micah. Tell us a little bit about what this means to you. Well, this is actually my first show back since the pandemic and I would think a lot of people's first shows back since we've been dead for about a year, two years, you know? So it's a fun, all-inclusive, heartwarming show that has a lot of energy. And I'm one of the few actors that get to play two different characters that get to visit both worlds of sexuality. So it's super fun. Well, thank you so much. You look fantastic. We're going to come down here, downstage, lastly, and talk to Miss Tracy, AKA Nathan, also the Associate Artistic Director for the FAC. How can people get tickets? You can visit our website, fac.coloradocollege.edu. Uh, we run Wednesday through Sunday through May 15th. Wednesdays are $20 tickets. It's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I see you got the necklace fixed. Oh, it's just tucked back there. <laughs> no one needs it's to know. It's about the image. doesn't matter. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You both look fantastic. You've been great all morning long. We appreciate you. You have to come down and see the show. It is going to be so much fun and appreciate, of course, the behind the scene crew. We love ours. So, Craig, we're going to toss it back to you. <laughs>